So the 80-40 method in Shrouded Avatar, what is it? How can you use it for you? If you're working in your skills and you're looking to develop a skill, let's say I was going to work on my heavy armor, I'm going to progress through this or blades or whatever else. I look at the very top one, the most entry skill, as the, the general one for the entire category. If I look at bludgeoning here, this is your general bludgeon stuff. So if I'm going to open up the bludgeon tree, my goal in there is to take the bludgeon tree and say, okay, I'm going to get this one to 80, I'm going to get the rest of this to 40. When this is at 80 and this is at 40, you've got the basic entire tree opened up and you're, you're basically proficient in the skill. Anything you want to do a little bit more of, raise it up higher. Um, if you really like a skill, take it up to 80. If you really, really like it, take it up to 100. But starting out, if you're going to be a bludgeon person, get your tree open from 80 at the top and 40 down at the rest at the, the rest levels. That's the 80-40 system. And then as you get through it, like here in my range, this one, range combat, this is something I'm, I, my mainstay. So I took this up to 111 at this point. And you can tell there are items in here that are at 100, which I wanted at a GM level. And there are items that are at 90 which I'm saying, okay, that's okay for me. I'm good at this one at 80. I'm good at this one at 90. Um, I don't need to take it. There's not that much advantage of taking that one beyond beyond 90 at this point. But these are the ones I want at 100. This I wanted at this. And these I'm going to get up. This one I'm working up to 90 as well. But when I first started out this tree, like here, get this one up to at least 80. Get the rest up to 40. And then start using them and seeing which ones you really like and which ones are the best bang for the buck. And then raise those up higher. Take them up from, um, take them up from, you know, from 40 to either 60, 80, or 100, or even beyond that. So that's how I kind of approach a skill tree, and I want to open it up. And that's how I'd work, uh, you know, as a new character. If you're becoming a mage or a swords person or a range person, I would first start out with that 80/40 method, and then build up the skills higher from there as you need it. Take care.